Hi everyone. So I've been asked to do a video on the topic of intimacy, self-intimacy, vulnerability, expression, and how I live these words in a world and in a society where we're not really encouraged to be open, to share, to be ourselves, to to be vulnerable, where vulnerability is seen as something that's weak, and intimacy is seen as something that only takes place during sex, or that you can only have with one other person, which is your partner. So, first of all, what I've seen and, and what I've experienced is that when we have difficulty opening up with other people, when we have difficulty living intimacy and vulnerability, uh, it's usually indicating a point where we are actually not developing those words, those expressions with ourselves. We've not created that in our relationship with ourselves. So for me, it was a process of walking. How, how do I see myself, but also how do I relate to myself? Because the, the definition of vulnerability that I have chosen to live is the willingness to be open, the willingness to, to look and see all of me without judgment, without... Um, feeling like I need to look away. Uh, it's, it's that process of complete 100% uh, self-reflection and taking what I see, meaning that the good, the bad, the ugly, everything, and developing an, an understanding of myself rather than a reaction to those parts of myself that I maybe don't like. And the definition of intimacy is for me that process of self-reflection, that process of understanding who I am, and that process of redefining myself, of just deciding who do I want to be. Um, so those words very much go hand in hand. Um, and uh, so... When I face difficulty in living these words, it's because I was at a point within myself where I didn't want to see the bad parts of me, the parts that I would, was judging. I didn't want to look at, at, at every dark corner. It was like I, I'd built up a wall within me and I wasn't allowed to go past that wall because behind that wall was all the worst parts of me and it would only be safe if it stayed there behind the wall and my process of taking that wall down brick, brick by brick is really actually a process of developing an openness and a willingness to really just reflect and see all of me and not judge myself just look at okay this is this is what i'm finding these are the thoughts these are the emotions these are the imaginations this is where all of these points are coming from within me this is how they developed over time now the question is do i want to live this is this who i want to be if the answer is yes then okay cool no problem if the answer is no then I need to develop a plan of how I'm going to change this practically. Which means, how am I going to support myself to live differently the next time this particular point activates within me? And how I develop this particular relationship with myself. Okay, yes, I did have a, a kind of an unusual life in that 
my dad did develop it, an awareness within me, or he, rather he supported me to develop a high level of self-awareness of seeing who I am, what my thoughts are, things like that. However, it did not change the fact that I still, for example, built this wall. Um, maybe it made it easier for me to take it down, I don't know. You know, I am me, I don't know how anyone else has experienced any of these points within their selves, within their lives. So, I still had to walk that process of, like, being willing to discover all myself on every level and in every shade that I am, that has been within me. And when I had that wall up, the way that it affected me was mostly, yes, my relationship with myself, but that would then be reflected within my relationship with others because I wasn't being open and intimate with myself, so I couldn't be with anyone else because I couldn't even be that with me. So that process of taking the wall down is really what supported me to be able to develop intimacy and and vulnerability with others where I let them see every part of me because I know who I am, I know the parts of me that are, I accept, the parts of me that I don't accept, and I know that the parts of me that I don't accept, I'm in a process of changing, I'm walking a process of not accepting and allowing those parts of me to actually become and continue being a physically manifested expression of me. And Yes, of course, I don't just share or bear all of me with anyone. I do it with the people who uh, who will not abuse that sharing. So, yes, it happens. Well, I've developed those points within relationships over time. It's not like I meet a new person and I'm like, hey, you're a cool person. I'm going to be completely open and vulnerable with you and we're going to develop a really cool intimacy and you're going to know all of me. It takes time to develop relationships and as relationships develop, I'll assess, okay, who am I? Who is the other person? How's the relationship going? Whether this is a friendship, a friendship or a family relationship or whatever. How, how is the relationship going? How is our communication? Um, how is the consistency of who the other person is? Are they the same all the time? Or are there a lot of inconsistencies? Uh, are they showing themselves to be trustworthy in that way? And as I'm walking that process um, of assessment... Uh, that's how and when I decide, okay, I'm going to share a little bit more, share a little bit more, share a little bit more, see how it goes. Um, and, I mean, really, that's, that's about it, because it's difficult for me to give particular examples of particular relationships or particular things that happen in relationships, because there's so many different ways that relationships can develop so it's that point of assessment I see in the moment within the context of that moment of who I am and who they are if I'll continue that process of expressing of opening up and sharing and and reflecting with another and the purpose and the reason behind me doing that with someone or why I want to develop an intimacy and a vulnerability within relationships is that 
I enjoy getting the feedback of others. So other people see things differently to how I see things. So often what I find is that someone else will see things in a different way or will see different aspects that I have missed. And that helps me to just complete the picture more. And the picture is me. That's that understanding of me, of who I am, why I am, how I tick. The patterns that have contributed to the creation of who I am. So, yes. <laughs> uh, that's about it on this point um, if you have any other questions on this topic please do let me know if you have any requests for me to do videos on leave a message or a comment um, otherwise I shall see you next time thank you for watching if you'd like to support me you can do so on Patreon alright bye bye <laughs>